Welcome to The Hop. This is David Charles Allen, Realtor at Village Properties in Santa Barbara, California. My good friend and co-host, Patty Teal, is going to be taking it easy again today. She's doing a lot, taking care of everything that happened in Florida. So sending her a lot of love and support and giving it a go this week again solo. So let's start it off. Weather in Santa Barbara is looking beautiful for the week ahead, scattered throughout the 70s. Sunny skies. We did get a little bit of swell these last couple days, so we'll see if that continues. Starting to change season, so we're getting a little more west swells, hoping to be picking back up the consistency a little bit more. In terms of how the interest rates have been performed, we're at 5.375 for 30-year jumbo and 6.375 for 30-year conforming. Not much has changed since last week. A lot of people are predicting they're going to go higher and higher. I mean, this has been the highest we've seen them in 15 years. But if you look at our historical charts where people were paying 18%, 20% some years ago. So rather historically, it may seem low, but in terms of the short term, people that have been buying recently or first time home buyers, they got so used to these 2.5%, 3% interest rates that this is really impacting a lot of the market and people's affordabilities, it seems. And with prices staying consistent, so to say, and not really dropping too much, depending on the area you're in, it's really affecting people's ability to buy a home. In terms of how the homes have performed, statistics, at least in Santa Barbara, we had 29 new listings, 23 price changes, 30 that closed, 33 that went pending. 10 that expired and four that are coming soon. So I think that's the biggest number we've seen in a while in terms of price changes, 23, that's quite a lot. 29 new listings with 33 pending. Again, no buildup of the supply. We've talked about it a lot on the show that supply has stayed low and with people's inability to move now that interest rates have gone up, supply could statistically still stay low. And with supply staying low, that means prices remain generally the same. It's just people are going to be getting more picky about the homes they buy. In turn, that's why you're seeing 23 price changes, whether that be homes that were trying to go for the highest price they can and people are getting a little more picky on their desirabilities, or it could be those homes that maybe aren't as attractive as ones that are still on the market too. Before, I mean, in the last two years, any home that would come on the market would sell. It didn't care if it was attractive or not. As long as someone was able to buy a home, they bought it. So it's coming back to kind of a balanced market, but that hasn't changed anything on prices. It does give buyers a little more flexibility in terms of negotiations, but it really is going to depend on which house you're interested in. And that wraps it up for this week. No question of the week since Patty is not here. Again, let's send love and support to everyone in Florida, Patty especially. And we're thinking of them and y'all have a good week and we'll give it a go next week.